Greetings, Bob Lee here with Relic Rescue USA. Once again, Chris and I return to the historic Loeb Hilburn home built in 1886. Listen guys, we just cannot help ourselves. Uh, the bottle digging has just been too good. And so we begin on day two in this particular hole. So we haven't found any whole bottles yet, but I gotta tell you, whatever this was, it would have been, it would have been gorgeous. Look at that, it's all blue. I guess kind of a sky blue. Chris, do you have an opinion? Uh, looks like maybe the bottom of a vase. Yeah, it's really thin material. That is and pretty. I don't see any kind of a mark, manufacturer's mark on the bottom of it. Chris is spelling me for just a minute, so while he's shoving, so shoveling out some of the debris I've loosened up, I wanted to show you something else we just found. Sure, this is all glass, um, maybe some sort of a vase. Looks like it's finely made. There's no markings on the bottom. Now you can see the color. Not quite cranberry red, but more like a plum color. Oh, Chris, something just fell out of the spoils. Keeping my eyes open. What you got, Chris? It's a small medicine bottle. I'm gonna rinse it off here. LC Canova and Brother. That's a baby one. Druggist, Palaka, Florida. We have now found bottles from this particular druggist in three different sizes. Uh, this one being the smallest. Uh, and if you, for those of you who are new to my channel and and haven't heard us talk about it. L.C. Canova was in business in the late 1890s for a couple of years before they were bought out by another uh, larger drugstore here in Palaka. So we feel like any bottles with this embossing on them is, or, you know, they're going to be uh, quite rare. Now we got something in the hole that really excites me, as well as Chris. Just tumbled out in a little pile of dirt. Here it is, and I think it's an ink. Hopefully it's whole. Sweet. It is aqua. I'm gonna let you clean it up a little bit. That's pretty. No nicks or anything. Is any nope. embossing on the bottom? Yep. There is. Carter. Carter ink. They're famous. Yeah, do we have any kind of patent date? No, but it's Carter's. Look at how. Yeah, how it's blown where the bottom is all yeah uneven. yeah it says there's so much more glass on this side yeah then look at that that is pretty we were kind of wondering why we haven't found more inks because the folks that own this property marcus and lena Loeb, they would have been literate um you know they had a uh, a clothing store and they owned a saloon um so this is our first ink we are tickled I'm following up in that vein, going right behind the ink. We're in a good area. There's a lot of broken dishes, glass. Looks like I might have another bottle. Not sure, but I'm going to show it to you. This is what it looks like. You can see here there's broken dishes and glass. This may be broken. I don't know, but we're going to we're going to try it. Yeah, oh, too bad. Well, that's the base to a very large bottle. Oh, and it's melted. Mm -hmm. I knew I saw some charcoal in there. I hate, hate it to see uh, where they've had a fire, but it looks like they had one only in one side of the pit. And fortunately, the ink we pulled out must have been just a few inches away buried in the sand because it was not melted. So I was just scraping with my rake. I'm being trying to be real careful because there's so much stuff in here. You see it? That looks like a bottle. But look what just poked out right here. Uh, that's another med. And this one, Chris, is not embossed. But it's a little baby. Hey, it's whole. At least it wasn't melted. Okay, so back to this other bottle. I almost assuredly it's broken. That we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check here. Up, oh, it's broken. Yep, too bad. We probably pulled out a couple of dozen broken bottles so far this morning. Uh, that's likely uh, would have been a green beer. Fixing to pull out something. I don't know if that's well. That is white. I'm not sure what all it is. Let's see. Well, yeah, 
it's nothing there. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Kind of some sort of crockery. I don't know if that's a word or not, crockery, or should I call it a crock, but that's kind of the substance it's made of. Well, I turned it on for a little bit. This just came out. It is. Oh! It's a massive doll head. Oh, wow. And Chris and his wife really like the doll heads. Mainly the wife. <laughs> Mainly the wife. Okay, the eyes are... Yeah, it would have had the ceramic, the porcelain eyes in it, which would hide away when it slept. Okay, hold on a minute, because I think I got another piece to it. Yeah, so there's there's some more pieces to it. Um, the backside, so yeah, so you definitely... Got it. Need to keep those, might be able to uh, put it together more. There's just so much stuff in here. Oh, there's the rest of it. We got an ear. <laughs> How many daughters did he have? He had five children. Oh. I, they think, mm, I don't recall now. I'm thinking four and a son, but I, I could be wrong. I just put it in the back seat. That's good. Still can't get that plate. Come on. Wow. <laughs> got a half a plate here. Not good shape, really rusted. Let's see. England. Ironstone, China. Staffordshire, England. Wow. Imperial, which was probably the, the, the uh, pattern. Since we just found that small LC Canova bottle in the uh, spoil mound, Chris has decided to get out a, well, it's not really a shaker box. He's, he's got a frame made with uh, hardware cloth and he's just gonna kind of rake the dirt back and forth and let it sift through and see what else he can find. In the meantime, I've got a bottle way underneath in the far, far back. I'm having a hard time getting out. And this, no, you can't see it. This is the bottle right there. And now that I'm looking at it in the camera, which I can see better, Chris, I believe it's a strap side whiskey is what I think it is. Um, Kind of got that yellow tint to it so i don't know i'm gonna see if i can see i still can't budge it yep okay, that's, that's a strap side whiskey right there nice. it's whole just an s on the bottom yeah we've only taken out one other that's nice hole from this property just to give you an idea of the beauty of this bottle look at that honey amber and chris says when you really study it you can see bubbles everywhere that is a beautiful bottle okay chris has pretty well got the dirt off this oh. first batch of um debris we've taken out of the hole and look I've, what he's got i've he's got the got other the ear other ear nice <laughs> might get a whole head hey it's going to give your wife something to do anyway right oh yep she'll love it what you're about to see down in the hole is a bottle hunter's dream if it happened to be whole. Check this out. Is that gorgeous or what? It looks whole, but I'd be surprised. Oh man, that's a beauty. Oh, there's the edge of it right there. Can't budge it though. Never know, maybe we'll find our silver coins finally inside this thing, huh? What it would have been. Yeah, this is a massive piece right here. What you got? Oh, look what Chris just found. Brass. Oh, he's got a buckle. That's an old one with the teeth. Nice. Yeah. A brass suspender buckle. And I think I recognize this one, Chris. I want you to look on there and see if it says Paris Solid. Okay. We'll get back to Chris in a minute. If it says Paris Solid, I know there's a lot of metal detectors up in Virginia that recovered those during the Civil War. Wow, look at the size. Too bad that wasn't whole. Wow. Look at the design on that. 
kind of beautiful, I guess, a kind of a croc bowl. Does it say Paris solid? I, I think I've seen it. The, the first word I can't make out, it, it's got... Well, I've got some magnifying, I got a magnifying glass. We'll check it out in a little bit. Got another enormous piece of something here, Chris. Oh, there we go. That's broken. And that does not go to that. Here we go. These people, I am amazed at how many dishes they broke. I just don't understand how they managed to do it. I really don't. This is just a fraction of what we pulled out of the hole so far today. I mean, I've got probably a five gallon bucket full over, over to the side, but okay, that, check this out. Oh, hello. That's the oh, other that's the, the other bowl. part of the bowl. See, see, see what that looks like, Chris. See if that's. That. That went to there. I'll be darned. That's so it. you were telling me that there's one piece of crock right there. Talk about that. The one with the blue ink. Yeah, there was one manufacturer. I don't remember the name or anything, but. Their Crocs had blue ink on them. That piece might have some too. Mm -hmm. And they're the more desirable ones, the ones that have the paint on them. Okay. Is there blue ink on that? There is? Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, you're right. So this, these two pieces undoubtedly go together. Yeah, they used to do designs and everything on them. And this looks like it, this might go with that. Mm -hmm. Let me see about the end. Yep. There's more blue ink right there. Yep, there's one. more blue ink right there. Just throwing it up so fast, not paying that good attention. Wow. Yeah. Oh, hello. And this piece right here is the top uh, to that that base we found uh, earlier this morning. And I think there's a transition between the darker purple at the bottom to the and then to the top. But yeah. And out comes what looks like the third piece to the bowl. And now we need the bottom. Now I've got a smallish looking bottle. It might be whole. Um, I don't know if it's an ink or not, but fixing to take it out. Camp, there you go. There it is right there. I don't really know what I'm looking at, honestly. It might very well be busted, but you don't know. The problem in here is there's so much debris, so many dishes. They just all jammed together and you just can't go very fast. There we go, we got it. Let's see what this thing is. Hmm. It's a little like a cream jar, yeah. maybe. Um oh, got writing on the bottom. Yep, we have writing, but it's French and it's from Paris. So I'd imagine it's uh, makeup or something, cold cream. Well, I don't even know if I can pronounce it. <laughs> I I'm, can... Not, I'm not quite that educated, but I, you know one thing I can pronounce? There it is, the word Paris. Wow. Something about... I don't know, we'll have to look at that. But it has Paris on it, and undoubtedly it probably has something to do with a woman's makeup. Well, this one just came out. It's, well, obviously broken many different ways. Fancy stuff. Sometimes they pop out so fast I don't have time to get the camera down there. And apparently this one still has the label, but I'm looking right there. And I believe this med is embossed. Ooh. It's embossed, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, oh it's another one of the uh, flavors uh, from Middletown, New York. Fruit flavors. Very M nice. McMonagle and Rogers Premium Fruit Flavors. Middletown, New York. Oh, nice embossing. Yeah. And apparently they had a label over it, and, and it was still embossed, so go figure. Chris and I are just about ready to wrap it up. And I took one more rake, and I got this little bottle kind of looks like an ink no it's not an ink 
Well, might be an ink. Uh, ink or shoe polish, maybe. WTSCD. Okay, so that's that's Whitehall and Tatum probably. They're the glass makers. They were, they were the ones that were Quakers, didn't allow any alcoholic beverages to be put in any of their bottles. That yep. sounds like that's what that. Yep. But could be an ink. Ink. Maybe a shoe polish. It's definitely a yep. cork top. Of course, if it had shoe polish, it would have had a cork with a little wire and a kind of a sponge apparatus on there to, uh, you know, dip the liquid out. Looks like we got a med. Yeah. But now I got, oh, there's a bottle under it. Another bottle. There's two. Oh, I hear a crunching. I think it's broke. Yeah. Okay, so this is... No sense examining it, it's just a, a plain med, but I'm more interested in what's beneath it. This could be really good, the next one. Hoping it's got some class to it. Ooh, it's a bigger, it's a bigger med. And, okay, we got them bossing. H.J. <laughs> Hines and Company. Oh, really? It's a condiment. Yeah. Really? H.J. Hines. Boy, that's an Pittsburgh. early one. That's an early one there. Pittsburgh, USA. Yeah. Wow. H47. Oh, okay. So that's the uh, steak sauce. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the fluted top on that, the glass. Yeah. H.J. Hines. Beautiful. Pittsburgh, USA. Did you say there was a 47 on here? On the bottom. H47. I don't know, that could be the mold number or it could be Heinz 47. So, so I was raking the underside here and into the sidewall. We're just trying to finish up. And out tumbled this. It is a druggist. Yep. Nice little flat side with the embossing. Now we did find uh, a couple of larger Ackerman and Stewart bottles in the big pit that we dug a couple of months ago, but we haven't found one that small, have we? No. Nope. No, that's a smaller variant. It's a nice size. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the way the one side's mm -hmm. flat and everything. So this one is likely after uh, 1901. Uh, before that, it would, the drugstore was known as Ackerman and Jackson, and then they changed names in 1901. But that one is, uh, all these bottles we've gotten out so far today are blown in the mold. Yep, sure is, because the seam stops right there at the neck. These are some of the smalls that Chris recovered from his sifter box. Got a small plate from a child's tea set, doorknob, ceramic, ceramic button, uh, half of a knife sharpener. This is a Paris solid brass spender buckle. Uh, the only thing I know is that up in Virginia, there, there are a lot of metal detectors off of those for sale, and apparently they were used in the Civil War. Perhaps they were made after the Civil War. I'm not sure. The bottle or the jar that we thought might be a cream jar now says gourmet on it, so it was probably something for preserves. We've got the Heinz ketchup, the ink, um, the fruit syrup, and this bottle here that we thought was a plain med is man's extracts. We can now see the embossing on it. This is the one that we were talking about was a three-piece mold. And we have the LC Canova with the crack across it and the uh, honey amber strap side and what is likely either an ink or a shoe polish. And finally, I wanted to show you what the three pieces of that bowl looked like once it was glued together. And now that I look at the bottom of it, it does seem as though they may have knocked it out to repurpose it for a planter. We'll never know for sure. Uh, but that's all I got for now. I'll see you back in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching.